This is BBC One. Now, a party election broadcast by the Green Party. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old. If we equate this unimaginable period of time to that of a 46-year-old person, we could say that when life first emerged, the Earth was already 42. Dinosaurs appeared and vanished about a year ago, whilst the first human being arrived in the last four hours. It's just one hour since we discovered agriculture, and the Industrial Revolution started a minute ago. In that tiny microcosm of the Earth's life, we have transformed paradise into our very own rubbish tip and contaminated every living thing on the planet. Could the outcome of the election make a difference? Society is in crisis. We see the evidence every day on the news. A crisis in health care, employment, education, pollution, homelessness, food and transport, a rising wave of violence, crime, corruption and sleaze. The solution, we are told, over and over, is economic growth. Economic growth, the big lie. For decades now, we've been assured that economic growth will secure jobs and prosperity for all of us. And the economy has grown, and grown, and grown. And with it, so has poverty, insecurity, and environmental destruction. So what are they promising us? More of the same. Job security has been replaced with workforce flexibility, uncertain hours, worsening conditions, and a constant threat of redundancy. The poor have got poorer, whilst the super rich have become obscenely rich in a country where one in three children live in poverty. Grey economics wastes billions. Through benefit payments to the unemployed, it creates. Billions more go on senseless road schemes, destructive farming practices, and deadly nuclear installations, all at the expense of our health and our environment. Their obsession with unlimited economic growth is so deeply ingrained that anyone challenging it is called crazy. And yet our lives are increasingly stressful and our health is suffering. If we sustained a growth rate of just 3%, in 200 years, we would need to consume as much in a day as we currently produce in a year. It doesn't have to be like this. The Green Party has the vision and the integrity to offer an agenda for a sustainable future. The Green Party is the only true opposition to the politics of greed and the poverty it creates. Even in the grey political system, the Green Party is making waves. Despite being denied any MPs due to a lack of proportional representation, through mass lobbying and coalition building, we have succeeded in getting three pieces of Green Party policy through Parliament, including the Home Energy Conservation Act and the Road Traffic Reduction Act. They are typical of green policies, conserving resources, cutting fuel bills, reducing pollution and improving living conditions. A green society places cooperation before competition, quality before quantity and conservation before consumption. Our local and global environments are too precious to allow mainstream politicians to add as a footnote to their policy issues. Green councillors and local green parties across the country are supporting recycling and traffic calming schemes. They are actively campaigning against road building, out-of-town supermarkets and animal abuse. They are setting up local exchange trading systems and organic distribution schemes. The Green Party seeks to empower local people, giving them real control over their lives, environments and communities. We believe that if we all start locally, we can effect change globally. Invest in your future and vote green for policies that won't cost you the earth. That party election broadcast by the Green Party can be seen again on BBC Two 